Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're putting two top anti-dark spot serums head to head to see which one really delivers. So why did we choose the anti-dark spot serums from La Roche-Posay and Eucerin? In this video, we'll first take a look at how the active ingredients in each product work, then compare their formulations. After that, we'll review user feedback, and finally, we'll tell you which product is truly the best fit for you. Ready? Let's dive in. These two are specifically made to target dark spots, priced in the same range, and they both have a solid reputation in skincare communities. It's the perfect matchup. Let's start by taking a look at the anti-dark spot serum from La Roche-Posay. This serum contains the following active ingredients, 10% glycolic acid, kochic acid, tranexamic acid, vitamin B, five all right. So what makes this formulation stand out? Let's break it down. One, 10% glycolic acid. Glycolic acid is water soluble and primarily works on the surface of the skin. It promotes cell turnover by gently exfoliating the outermost layer, helping to reveal fresher, more radiant skin underneath. So why 10%? Well, concentrations under 5% are mostly hydrating. They don't do much when it comes to exfoliation, but 10% hits the sweet spot. At this level, glycolic acid effectively removes dead skin cells, boosts the absorption of other active ingredients, and is still gentle enough for most skin types to tolerate. Go above 10%, and now you're entering the territory of professional chemical peels. Powerful, yes, but they come with a higher risk of irritation or even chemical burns. That's why 10% is a smart, balanced choice for at-home use. Next up, Koyich Acid. But how exactly does it work? Well, let's break it down. Normally, the skin produces melanin through a chain reaction that starts with an amino acid called tyrosine. This process is driven by an enzyme called tyrosinase, which gradually converts tyrosine into melanin, the pigment responsible for dark spots. Koyich acid steps in and disrupts that process. It works by chelating copper ions that tyrosinase needs to function. Without copper, the enzyme can't activate. And without that, melanin production slows down significantly. That's how Koyich acid helps fade pigmentation at the source. Now let's talk about tranexamic acid. So how does it work? Unlike Koyich acid, tranexamic acid doesn't block melanin directly. Instead, it targets one of the root causes, inflammation from UV exposure. When skin is exposed to UV rays, it triggers an inflammatory response and that inflammation can kick melanin production into overdrive. Tranexamic acid helps calm that response, preventing excess pigment from forming in the first place. And finally, vitamin B5. This one's a little different. Vitamin B5 doesn't directly reduce dark spots, but it plays an essential supporting role. It helps maintain the skin's moisture barrier, speeds up healing, and keeps the skin soft, calm, and resilient. Basically, it creates the perfect environment for all the other active ingredients to do their job more effectively. So, is La Roche-Posay's serum right for you? Let's break it down with an in-depth review and real user feedback. On Amazon, this serum scores a solid 4.4 out of 5 stars. That's pretty impressive. About 85% of users left positive reviews, while 8% had negative experiences. Let's look at what people are saying. Dark spot reduction and brightening, 42%. Many users saw a real improvement in pigmentation. There's been a huge change. I'm amazed with the results. I won't buy this again. Not because I didn't like it, but because it fixed my problem in less than a week. Rapid results, 15% speed was a major highlight for a lot of reviewers. This is the only product that gave me visible results and in an incredibly short time frame based on skin type, mixed feedback. 20% said it worked great for sensitive skin. 6% felt it wasn't ideal for dry skin. 9% reported irritation when not used properly. Using it without any irritation. The results are wonderful. I broke out in hundreds of tiny red bumps all over my face and neck. Minimal or no results, 15%. Not everyone was impressed. 
After the bottle was gone, there was practically no difference. It doesn't work for me. Not worth the money. Scent issues. 10%. Some users commented on the smell. Very chemical smell. Smells kind of like glue. Cost versus effectiveness. 11%. A common concern. The price. It's so expensive. I don't recommend it at all. 12% of users said they would repurchase this serum. A few users mentioned they would definitely buy it again. All right, let's talk about the second contender. The Eucerin Anti-Pigment Dual Serum. It features a super targeted formula with just two powerhouse ingredients. Thiamidol, hyaluronic acid. Now let's break each one down. Thiamidol is the star ingredient here. It targets hyperpigmentation by inhibiting an enzyme called tyrosinase, the key player in melanin production. Less tyrosinase equals less melanin equals fewer dark spots. Now, how does it compare to other brightening agents? Compared to Arbitin, thiamidol is stronger. Compared to hydroquinone, it's milder, but still effective, especially for newer spots. It's gentle on sensitive skin. Unlike hydroquinone, which can be too harsh for some. So if your skin can't handle aggressive treatments, the Amidol is a smart science-backed alternative. Now let's talk about hyaluronic acid. No, it doesn't directly fade dark spots, but it plays an essential supporting role by deeply hydrating the skin, reducing irritation caused by actives, helping the brightening ingredients work more effectively. So is Eucerin Anti-Pigment Dual Serum the right choice for you? Let's dive into the details, including user feedback and real results to help you decide. 82% of users gave it positive feedback. Around 12% of users left negative reviews. 54% of reviewers say this product works wonders for dark spots and melasma. I tried everything. Only this product worked. I found something that actually works. 32% of users were impressed by the fast results. In just two weeks, from August 27th to September 11th, I saw very significant changes. Pretty quick results for a skincare product. So what about skin types? 11% of people said it's suitable for sensitive skin. 10% found it not ideal for dry skin. 15% experienced irritation or stinging due to improper use. It gave me an allergy on my face. I stopped using it. It's a great product for hydration and didn't cause any sensitivity for me. 16% of users didn't love the fragrance. The fragrance, ooh, it's too much. I can hardly stand it. It's horrible. I can barely stomach it. Scent can definitely be a deal breaker for some. 10% of users didn't see any results. No results after more than three months of daily use. Saw no difference in my skin at all. That's a tough one, especially after sticking with it for months. 7% of reviewers thought the price didn't match the packaging. For this price, I expected better packaging. But despite the mixed reviews, 19% of users are thinking about repurchasing. Thinking about it makes me want to buy a third bottle just in case. I just started my second bottle. Now, let's take a close look at a comparison between La Roche-Posay and Eucerin. For both products, the usage is the same. Apply at night on clean skin and follow with a moisturizer. Apply in the morning and follow with sunscreen. In terms of price to volume ratio, these two products are quite similar. Eucerin, 30 milliliters for $39. La Roche-Posay, 30 milliliters for $42. Now, let's take a look at the effects of each serum. La Roche-Posay, effect, gentler and slower action. Reactions, fewer allergic reactions and a more tolerable scent. Reason, this product is formulated with gentler yet effective brightening agents, making it more suitable for sensitive skin. Eucerin. Effect. Stronger and faster performance in reducing dark spots and melasma. Reactions. More allergic reactions with a stronger and less pleasant fragrance. 
reason. Thanks to the active ingredient thiamidol, which is highly effective at reducing dark spots. Up until now, we've seen that La Roche-Posay focuses more on exfoliation and pigment control. On the other hand, Eucerin targets enzyme inhibition and supports the skin's protective barrier. Two different paths, but both with the same goal, tackling stubborn spots. If you're looking for quick results in reducing dark spots, Eucerin is a good option for you. However, if you have sensitive skin or are sensitive to fragrance, this product might not be ideal. La Roche-Posay. This product works better for sensitive skin due to its gentler formula. However, keep in mind that it may take a bit longer to show results on stubborn dark spots. If you've used these products before, please share your experience in the comments below to help others make a more informed decision.